Hello again. So, I want to give a bit of an overview of the gear types that I've ridden recently and that I've already have long experience with. Um, so the roll-off up has been one that I've been trying out for quite a while since I bought it last summer. And I've given my review with many of the most important things, points, uh, in, the, in a previous video, but uh, a week or so ago I made a test ride with uh, three bikes. One was a, was a Pinion 1.18, P118. The second was a bike with the C112. And the third was a roll-off bike with Gabler Robox that replaces the shift box here this thing along with some shifters here and some shifters that are used or were used on the bike uh, were SR SRAM GX modified shifters which uh, are the ones that the maker of the cable out row box suggests. So the bikes that I tried were from uh, a dealer, not, not far from here, Santos Travel Light. Santos is a Dutch brand, frames are made in Taiwan. And why I mention that is because of something else that I'll come to at the end. So first of all, this was the bike and it is a Pinion P118, so 18 gears, excellent ratio, I liked it. Here a slight clicking when you switch gears, but it's not a problem. Um, this one came with uh, lighting etc, but it's not important of course for the test ride. The test ride was about how smoothly does it work? Do you hear any noise? I did not hear any noise on that test ride. It was on a noisy road, but I did hear the roll of noise. Second bike that I tried was another bike from Santos, but with um, C112. And that felt a lot clunkier. I mean, you hear, you switch and you hear switch, you, you make the rotation. And you hear the click and the, the, whole, the whole sound goes through your frame. It was a lot louder in the. It was not really bad, but uh, I mean, you notice it more when you, when you switch gears. Um, the switch gears were noticeably bigger, a little bit bigger than the Roloff, and it's not optimal, but I thought, yeah, it's good enough. 1.17 times ratio for each step, that's okay. But, but the P P118 has about 1.115. And I felt that was really nice, really nice. I liked it. So that was my favorite. I also tried the roll-off hub with the Kebla Robox. So you have these shifters a bit like this. You can press this to go up gear or down gear. I don't remember which one it was. And the other to go the other way. This was okay, but it was a lot heavier going than this derriere system. The shifters of this derriere system. Um, in all, because of the noise that still remained in gears, remains of course in gears 1.7, that doesn't change. That comes from the hub itself. In gear 1.7 to 1, 1.7, to and because of the, the shifting was pretty heavy going, I didn't feel that it was worth it to get a system for my uh, roll of bike. And yeah, let, let's get to something else. The price. The, the price. I didn't think about it before going. I just got, I went because I knew that the, this dealer had these bikes uh, with the pinion gearbox. And coincidentally, the, they just had a bike in with the roll-off with Robox plus modified SRAM shifters. So I thought, oh, great, I can try all of them and just compare them. And the thing that I want to come to, but I'll, I'll first come to the, is the price. I thought this was absolutely rid ridiculous. But I'll go first to which I prefer, 
Pinion P118. I like it. It has the rotating shifter, which is not so heavy going. It was a lot better than the one that I tried many years ago, but perhaps it was too tightly... Uh, the cable was perhaps too tight or something, or perhaps they changed the, the, the gearboxes, I don't know. But this was pretty good. I could shift three to four gears in one go. Um, the, the C112 was this, my second favorite. Uh, same, quiet, easy to shift, slightly less good in the gear ratio and of course also in noise. So therefore my second favorite, but it's a lot cheaper. Roloff with Gabler, Ro uh, Gabler Robox plus uh, modified SRAM shifters, that's option three. And the worst is the roll-off with the twist shifter. But the price, okay. If you if you don't know about the price of these things, then you think it's absolutely ridiculous. And that's what I thought. Um, this one that I that, that I wrote, six thousand eight hundred euros without any lighting. As written, it was seven thousand three hundred euros. What? the hell is going on uh, in the 12 speed version it would be 6200 euros also without lighting uh, that's really ridiculous there are other german brands that offer bikes with a p8 p118 for 4500 euros it's also already a lot of money uh, but check out my website i made some price comparisons and i think these bikes are absolutely ridiculously expensive um if i can add another bike, uh, a transmission system, the New Vinci. I think the New Vinci is better than the Roloff from almost all cases. It's slightly less efficient, but normally you don't, don't notice that. Um, it's like 5-10% or so. Perhaps 10% compared to the Roloff, 5% per, to, uh, to an Alfina or something. It's really not important. Uh, the, the New Vinci is, is, is completely silent. Uh, switches much easier than the Roloff hub, um, much nicer hub to use. So my favorite to use, if I were to ch ch uh, choose a new bike, then I would go for, I think, Pinion P118 or one with a new Vinci hub. What I'm going to do this summer is probably buy a second-hand bike with a pinion uh, but probably in ukraine um, i'll tell you about this in a later video okay that's it for now bye bye